with GTA 6 Rockstar is making everything bigger and better, including in-game events. So we saw this with GTA 5, Red Dead Redemption 2, where you could come across random NPCs and just weird events in-game. And it looks like they're going to be taking it a whole lot further in GTA 6 with some crazy mysteries and just funny Easter eggs coming. So this is all found in-game confirmed to be at least in the beta of GTA 6 with the leaks we saw last September. I have gone through all 1,300 of them and found the most interesting ones. That, that took a long time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Leave a like if you do and... And let's just get straight to it because I do have about seven pages of these. So let's check them out together. Now, guys, I have to say before this video starts, spoiler alert, of course, but that's what I like about making these videos. We get to discuss and look at things we already know about the game because there were a bunch of leaks that came out that pretty much are confirmed 100% by now. But that's why I make these videos for you guys. I got your guys' back. We are going to be looking at the main ones I found to be interesting and we're going to break these down here. Grab a snack, grab some coffee like I have right now. This is number one, page number one. Now, this is going to reveal a lot of stuff. These are just in-game events. So, what, how they do it, Red, Red Dead Redemption 2, you either, you just come across it randomly and it triggers, or you have to go to, you have to be at a certain part in the game. Like in GTA 5, you have to finish the whole game for you to find the UFOs on top of Mount Chiliad. So, this is probably going to work the same way. It's either triggered with some kind of stuff you have to do before or it just triggers ram randomly at a certain time or whenever it want the game wants to trigger the event so first off confirming alligators alligators are gonna be a gta 6 we have the alligator ambush not much not much else to say on that i will uh talk about all of these some of them i'll skip past just because there's not much to talk about but others i will spend a little bit more time talking about because it does reveal some more info Next is absorbing accent. So absorbing, actually a very fun activity. Hopefully we do get to do this in GTA 6, but absorbing of some kind is in the game. Now we have next few mysteries, mystery kind of events to come across, which I'm really excited for. I'm going to be making a ton of mystery videos. I've always been a mystery hunter throughout all the GTA games. We have the Satanist house. So I'm assuming this is going to be some kind of cult and you come across their house going south of it. It's going to be really creepy to see some kind of Satan just coming after you or something really creepy. We also have the Scarface crime scene. So GTA Vice City, which also takes place in Miami, Florida, was based off of Scarface. It was almost a scale to scale game with the Scarface movie. So that was really fun to see. Obviously, they're going to have some references to Scarface because they're returning to Vice City, which is confirmed. Then we have the UFO Animal House, similar to the Red Redemption 2 UFO mystery, where you go inside of the abandoned barn, a UFO comes on top of you. This might be kind of the same. You go inside of an animal house, a UFO comes, maybe abducts you or something. Maybe not that crazy, but UFOs will be making a return, obviously, in GTA, because that's been pretty much a thing throughout all the whole GTA games since GTA 3. Then we have a voice in the storm drain. I put Pennywise reference because... When GTA 6 was first probably being developed, it might have been 2016, maybe even 2015, but 2016, and that's when the It movies were coming out. So maybe it's a Pennywise reference, or maybe Ratman is coming back to GTA. Yes, Ratman, GTA 4, GTA 5. In GTA 5, you could actually hear his voice and footsteps and a creepy laugh in the tunnels in GTA 5. So maybe they're going to be bringing back Ratman in some way. Definitely going to have to go check and investigate that. Do we have a kidnapping victim? Probably gonna just run across this maybe kidnapping victim on the side of the street or something. Now, next one I'm really excited for, Bonnie and Clyde mystery. I love everything Bonnie and Clyde, so a mystery involving that would be amazing to just go. And there's multiple locations of that too, so that's gonna be a evolving storyline and evolving mystery to go explore and find new details about. Now, sharks are coming back. We got a shark cage of some kind. Hopefully, we're not the ones in the shark cage, but that will be pretty sick if we are in the shark cage. We go down a boat, lower down in the ocean, have some sharks around us. Something goes bad. We're bitten by a shark or something. But sharks will be in GTA 6, just like how they're in GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah, they were a dead shark. The only shark in Red Dead Redemption 2 was dead on the side of Guarma. So, sharks will be coming back in GTA 6. 
You also have a toxic floating trash island. So this is actually a thing in real life, sadly enough. In the Pacific Ocean, though, there's a area where a lot of trash collects up because of the stream in the ocean. So they call it an island of trash. Looks like something similar will be coming here. Then we have a mine shaft discovery. So this is really interesting. Mine shaft. We had something similar in GTA 5. Maybe it's going to be bigger and better in GTA 6. Looks like also prisons are coming back. Hopefully we're going to have some kind of prison heist. But one of the events on this list is a prison hitchhiker. So we're probably going to pick him up. Maybe we have an honor system. We could help him get bad honor or turn him into cops, get good honor for the public and everything. But does that confirm an honor system in GTA 6? I'm thinking there probably will be because they're going to want to make it more in-depth in GTA 6 compared to RDR 2. But maybe these in-game events will affect your honor system. There was another absorbing accident and then a swamp tour crash. So the swamp, the Everglades will be coming back. I did make a video on that about all the locations in GTA 6 that we know so far. In real life, I actually put real life footage of those locations. So check that out if you want to. I'll put it on the video here for you guys to see. The swamps will be coming in GTA 6 and there will be a swamp tour crash. So maybe good honor, help those victims of the crash or bad, just walk away. Then we have a dealership theft. Now we have some more little mysteries and mini heists. This is going to be a big one. This needs to be a video on its own, but for now I'm just adding it into this whole list. So we have warehouse haunted, warehouse torture, probably abandoned warehouse you could go to. Then we have a runaway cow, which is pretty funny. A music video. So maybe we'll be able to make a music video in GTA 6. That'd be kind of cool. Miami Vice City. The music industry going pretty big there. So filming a music video, that'll be pretty funny to see. Now we have some easy scores. So this is what I'm assuming is like mini heist. It's easy scores, like a gas station or just walking to someone's house or a little business. So we have bingo, cash and carry, the cafe, body shop, closing store, and a few more that were on it that I just didn't want to add to this. But easy scores will be a thing that I'm assuming you could just walk into pretty easily, steal something, or just hold it up and make, I don't know, $50,000 from it. So I'm assuming that will be a big thing in the at least in the beginning parts of the game. Then workouts will be returning. Yes, workouts are coming back. A huge thing we wanted in GTA 5. We can work out. It looks like we're going to have a workout challenge of some kind. Maybe Muscle Beach in Vice City. We're going to be able to go there, work out, challenge other NPCs to a workout challenge and bet some money on it. Then we have a DUI test. So this is one of a few police encounters we have. So maybe it's going to be really in-depth now. Like they pull you over. You actually have to do a DUI test. That'll be pretty cool to see. Then we have Swamp Safari Crazy Golf. My girlfriend is going to hate me for this, but Crazy Golf, Mini Golf, not Rug Golf, Mini Golf. So Swamp Safari Crazy Golf, it's going to happen. Next, a really creepy one, a forest figure. What is this? There's going to be a forest in GTA 6. There's going to be some kind of figure. Maybe it's a ghost or maybe it's an actual like monster. That's going to be really creepy. Definitely going to have to get the clickbait out for that one and make a lot of videos investigating that. Then we have a base encounter. So UFO base or is a military base. <laughs> Next one on the topic of rat man, we have rat infestation. What is that? I do not want to know what that's going to be. But now even more creepy clickbait mystery craziness farm monster. <laughs> this is going to be some kind of farm monster. So there's actually a few of these. So this farm monster first visit, farm monster man, monster transform. So he's got, maybe it's an NPC and he transforms into a monster. But we also do some work apparently for him. There's mansion squat, there's farm monster man chemicals delivery, farm monster man chemicals request. So we're going to be able to do some work for him, but then he transforms into a monster man. <laughs> That's going to be something crazy. But then something interesting, we have Mansion Squatter Investigate. What's Mansion Squatter? Are we going to be able to own a mansion in GTA 6? Because it doesn't make sense if we see a mansion and we just go investigate some someone sitting outside of it. Mansion Squatter Investigate sounds to me like we are inside of the mansion. We go see someone outside and we go investigate it because it's our mansion. So maybe we're revealing something big right there. Next we have Far Right Militia. So this is pretty funny. Far Right Militia. Obviously Rockstar is good. Take takes on. Every single person in America and far right militia is going to be a bunch of crazy people with a bunch of weapons, probably some crazy beers, shirtless. That's going to be really funny to see. Motorsports Hangout. 
looks like motorsports are going to be a thing in some way or another. Maybe we can take part in it. That'll be really fun to see. That hasn't been a thing since really San Andreas. It was sort of a thing in GTA 5, but that was more like little side races. You could, but an actual motorsports mini game we could do, that'll be really cool. We also have a hunting accent. So of course, hunting will be coming back. It looks like we're going to be come across either us being injured or some NPCs being injured and we have to help them out. Also on the topic of more events and mini games, Backyard Wrestling Ring. So this you can actually see in the gameplay clips leaked, but I wonder what this is going to be. Is this going to be an actual event we could take place in and fight? Maybe this is a part of the workout challenge. Wrestling will be a thing. They're going more in depth. And it was more in depth in RDR2 compared to GTA 5 and it's going to be more in depth in GTA 6. We have some more racing with Vehicle Racing Port Get Horn Raceway and Vehicle Racing Red Deck Yacht Club. So hopefully we get some good racing in GTA 6. I'm a big racer. I've been a big racer in GTA Online forever. I think I have over 2,000 won, 1,000 lost. So definitely good. look forward to that. And again, more cop encounters. We have cop arrest encounter. So cops are going to be playing a big role in GTA 6 besides just chasing after you and shoot shooting you. But another event I want to see, another mini game, bungee jumping. This event, we're coming across a dead bungee jumper, but I really hope we can bungee jump. It doesn't really make sense, really, because we do have parachutes, but bungee jumping, that'd be, that'd just be kind of fun. Maybe get a score or something for bungee jumping. I just want to see little stuff like that. We also have Everglades plane crash, pretty simple Everglades plane crash. Maybe we are inside the plane when that happens. Going back to workouts, we have a Swole Couple workout challenge and Swole Couple beach selfies. We have Lost Crazy Woman, Lost Elderly Woman. So those, those are probably more traditional, like you're driving, come across a Lost Crazy Woman. There you go. That, take her to wherever she needs to go. We also have Lost Boyfriend, Beach Bum Preacher, Cat Lady's Car. Cat Lady's Car is kind of interesting. Will there be cats in the car or just some kind of crazy cat lady who stalks you? We have Overpass Idiot's Tough Highway, Overpass Idiot's Scared Bridge. We also have the High Cashier 24-7 Supermarket. So this may be... If you go into a supermarket, you have a high cashier. It's easier to rob. Lower risk robbery for a high cashier. You also have the same for Uncle Jack's. You have a hit by car gang. Another yard sale location at Shotgun Beers Encounter. Another mystery I found is a mummified old lady. Uh, This, that, I don't want to know what that is. Hopefully she doesn't come back to life and chase us out of the woods. Maybe she is the woods creature. We have a Redneck Yacht Club Tire Pole 1, Redneck, Redneck Yacht Club Hill Climb 1. So looks like we're going to be able to take part in some kind of Redneck Yacht Club event. Maybe we are a part of it. That'd be kind of fun to see. Hopefully we do get to drive the yachts. That was a big thing I wanted from GTA Online. But hopefully this one we have to drive the yachts. We can drive the yachts anywhere we want to on land in the rivers. I want to drive my yacht. Some more mansions ones. We have Mansion Jumper and Mansion Passed Out and again Mansion Squatter Investigate. So this one, I'm assuming we are the mansion owner because it doesn't make sense to investigate someone in a mansion if we are not the owner. And again, Jumper, maybe we see someone on the roof of our mansion and maybe we see someone passed out inside of our mansion. That's what I'm assuming this is. So I'm predicting it here, guys. Write this down. We are able to own a mansion in GTA 6 Vice City. We also have tourist photo multiple of these. I just combined them in one. We have pawn shop two criminal. More for all right militias. We have militia training, militia trucks, militia funnel visit. Probably more sprinkled in there. That's just the few that was on the video clips. We have mugger one South Beach iguana. So I think that's a, a the iguana animal. I don't think that's a location because below that it says mother mother mugger two jewelry. So and maybe they're stealing a uh, iguana. That's going to be interesting to see. That's going to be in GTA 6. Iguanas. Some crazy animals. And we have another one. Mugger 3, Victim 2, South Beach. Iguana again. And now the last page. We have Elderly Favor, Hungry. These are just a few fast ones I found. I just added these at the end here. We have one in North Miami, South Miami. Then bangs on window, attacks player. What's going to happen there? Someone's going to attack us. Maybe it's a police officer or a gang. Banging on our car window and attacking us. We also see bangs on window steel vehicle. We have IE Watch Geek first encounter, IE Watch Geek second encounter. So maybe the Watch Geek, maybe we steal some watches. We have to go to him. Maybe he takes it off of us and sells the watches for money. So that's going to be maybe like a side mission, but 
We also have the Angry Woman Malibu Club. So Malibu Club will be coming back. Angry Woman Ocean View. The Ocean View Hotel will be coming back. A main part of Vice City. And then Angry Woman Vice Beach Plaza. Which is the outside mall in Miami. Or in-game Vice City. These are all some of the main events. There were some little ones that I didn't add in. I will link the whole spreadsheet I made for you guys to view in the description. I even sorted them out by colors. View that if you want to see all of them. It does take a while. I think there's a 1,368 different ones that we have so far. There's going to be a lot more when the game actually comes out. So definitely going to be hopefully looking at all of these. And this list alone is all that you could actually go. These are all real encounters that you could go and see. There's going to be a lot more and a lot more tiny ones too. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This took a lot of research. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you guys in whatever video I make next about GTA 6.